Hi, I'm Dr. Joe. Hey, instead of having a kitchen table chat today, I'm going to bring you into my kitchen and show you how I fix dinner. Now, I just got back from teaching at, at an English as a second language camp for some Taiwanese students, which is great fun, but I want to get dinner on right away and then I can go do my strength training workout while it's cooking. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite dinners because it's so easy to prepare. We start with some turkey uh, thighs. I actually really like turkey thighs the best because they're so moist. But um, if you like breasts, that's fine. Just use turkey breasts. So we're going to set those over in this crock pot. And I'll put the second one over there. This would be enough for at least um, four or five people, but with just the two of us, we have leftovers. Now, let me wipe off my hands a second here, and we'll get this spice that I love. It's, um, it's just called homemade dressing, and it's an Italian, the Italian garden blend, brand, or blend, I mean. So, um, it's legal for a candida uh, diet or a, a yeast-free diet. Um, and I just take it and I just sprinkle it over my turkey thighs in here. Let's see if I can get down in there so you can see me sprinkling it. And let's get the other one. And then I'll just flip these over flip this one over and we'll sprinkle again on the top side. Now let me show you on a if you're looking for candida diet foods choosing from these seven categories of food is the very best thing you can do to feed you without feeding the yeast. So you choose a complete protein, a legume or grain a root vegetable, a yellow or white vegetable, a green vegetable, a red, orange, or purple vegetable, and a green leafy vegetable. And basically you include one of those food groups of each of those food groups in your meal. So tonight for our meal we're choosing turkey for our protein, snow peas for our uh, legume, or you could also choose brown rice or quinoa <clears throat> or one of the other grains or one of the other beans. Uh, then for our root vegetable, we're choosing potato. For our yellow or white, we're choosing jicama, which is one of my favorite vegetables. It's so crunchy and moist. For our green vegetable, we'll choose zucchini. And our red, orange, or purple, we're choosing red bell peppers tonight. And then for our green leafy vegetable, we'll, um, we'll actually have a leafy and a red leafy and a romaine. So a green leafy, a red leafy, and a romaine. <clears throat> um, you'll see what a beautiful combination those foods make. So let's get busy and fix our dinner. Here, I want to show you those vegetables over here. So we looked at turkey. Here's our bean group. Here's our root vegetable, which I have a kind of a red, white, and blue, you might say, uh, medley there of a red potato, a Yukon gold potato, and a purple potato. I love these little purple potatoes. They grow so well in our garden. Then here's the jicama. If you've never seen a jicama, it's um, kind of brown on the outside and white on the inside, and we have it chopped up here ready for our salads. Next, uh, the red, of course, here's your red pepper and your chopped up red pepper. And then we have the zucchini. And I wanted to show you, this is my first zucchini out of my garden this year. Our garden's a little behind because we had such a cold, wet fall. And then for our lettuce, for our green leafy, we're going to use lettuce. Um, and I even had a little red lettuce. Those both came out of my garden too. Now, the lettuce, <laughs> This lettuce, well both of these lettuces just came up wild in my garden. I planted a variety, 
packet of lettuce oh three or four years ago and some of them go to seed and the next year they just spring up everywhere and we have lettuce for free which is way cool now I have all my vegetables all washed so they're just easy to grab out of the refrigerator and chop up it maybe took me 15 minutes to get these vegetables together and chop them up um, and so the lettuce I wash and then I drain them and then I wrap them in paper towels as you can see they're lying on a paper towel here and I store them in these green bags maybe you can see the green bag right here which keeps them very nice once in a while uh, every so often anyway I change the paper towels especially after right after they've been washed because the towels get so soggy but it seems the paper towels keep the lettuce moist without letting it get soggy. All right, now let's go back. We're gonna put these root vegetables in this crock pot with the turkey. And um, I cut them in half so they will cook a little bit faster. And we're making enough here now that um, we'll have plenty for leftovers tomorrow for lunch. I will pack these in my little lunch bag and take it back to camp with me tomorrow. So um, that's just a little trick I recommend doing. There's my little purple potato. Because you can fix enough at one time to last you for 24 hours and it just makes everything so easy and fast. All right, there are the root vegetables. Now you, you can also see I have three salad bowls here and one's in a container that I can put the lid on and take with me for lunch tomorrow. So let's put our peas on our salads now. And remember this is our uh, bean for the day. Actually you can do a, a bean or a grain. You could put white rice or quinoa or whatever you wanted on this. And then we'll get our root. And there we go. Oh boy, plenty of jicama. We love jicama. Look, this is looking gorgeous already. Okay, here's our red, red peppers. And I really love red peppers. They're tasty. I think they're, I kind of feel like they're easier to digest than um, green peppers. And so if your digestion's kind of compromised along with having candida, then, um, <coughs> Maybe you might be able to digest the colored peppers, colors other than green. Now here's our zucchini, fresh, nice fresh zucchini. It can, and you can see how colorful these salads are looking now. Um, that's one of the neat things about eating from this seven food category. It not only makes your meals look beautiful, but you get a little different nutrient in each color group. Now, hang on a minute and I'll be right back okay so there we have our beautiful salads now all we have to do is go over and grab our lid to our crock pot put it on um, I I turn it to high my timer to high my setting to high and then I set my um, timer for about two hours So there you have it. Wasn't that a fast meal? And those are the kind of candida or yeast diet foods that, that you can eat in your diet and not worry. Um, and they'll nourish you without feeding the yeast. Now I wanna show you a store-bought salad dressing that I'll put on these salads when we're ready to serve them. And it's legal on the candida or yeast-free diet. It's really hard to find uh, store-bought salad dressings that are legal because they all have some kind of sweetener or vinegar in them. But um, you can make your own salad dressings with lemon juice and oil and whatever spices you'd like. You can even use that Italian garden dressing to make uh, a salad dressing if you want. Just add a little oil and lemon juice. So here we go this is the um salad one of the salad dressing that i found that's legal it's called annie's naturals 
and it's um, organic green garlic dressing. So you can give that one a try if you want. Hey, I wish you could come join me for dinner, but why don't you pop your dinner in the oven right now too, and you'll be enjoying the delicious...